When it came to the profession of carrying coffins, there were many taboos as well as scary stories happening around it. For example, a person doing this job was absolutely not allowed to have sex the night before, not to get married or have children, to avoid injury and not to let blood get on the coffin. And most important taboo was that from the moment the coffin was lifted until the grave was reached, the coffin must not touch the ground. And the person carrying the coffin must not complain or say negative words, no matter how tired they were. Speaking of which, I want to tell you about a true story that happened in my village. That year, a 70-year-old woman died of illness in my village. Her family also held a funeral for her. At the time, the management of funerals was very strict due to concerns about epidemics. The older woman family hired workers from a nearby mine for the burial. And these people knew absolutely nothing about the burial customs in our village. Taking advantage of the early morning hours, they proceeded to carry the coffin, not knowing that something terrible was waiting for them ahead. They did not have much experience in burial, but it must be said that they were in good health. Carrying the coffin was not a problem for them, because to ensure safety, not to violate the government's ban, the funeral took place without drums and everyone went quietly to the back of the mountain. In the past, our villagers used to bury their relatives in a cemetery in the forest. It was about two kilometers from the village. The path was not difficult at all. However, while carrying the coffin near the cemetery, the coffin carrier suddenly felt that something was wrong. The coffin suddenly became very heavy and the road became steeper, making the steps quite heavy too. Everyone felt that the road that day seemed a bit strange. Oh my god, why is it so heavy? said one of the group members carrying the coffin. His elbows were shaking from the coffin's weight. Before they could continue, everyone felt that the coffin was a bit heavier than usual. The weight made the group stop because they couldn't stand it anymore. At this point, one of the group thought that maybe due to going uphill, the coffin would be heavier. The man did his best to exhort the people in the group to keep going. It was also close to the cemetery at that time. Everyone in the group tried to carry the coffin with all their might, even though it was growing strangely heavier. And at that very moment, something monstrous happened. The coffin suddenly shook violently. Then there were loud noises on the coffin lid. It seemed that someone inside was trying to break through to get out. The old woman had been dead for a few days. Was it possible that the old woman had come back to life? Family members of the old woman were also surprised. The coffin shook more and more violently each day, accompanied by high-pitched explosions coming from the coffin. The coffin carriers were trying their best at this point, but the weight of the coffin held them tightly. Suddenly an explosion rang out in the sky, accompanied by the boos of many people around. The coffin fell to the ground because of the steep slope. The people carrying the coffin fell backwards. Both the body and the coffin slid down the slope. The coffin slid down the slope for a while and then stopped. Everyone rushed over to hold the coffin upright. At that time, the family members of the old woman also expressed panic. They looked at each other without knowing what to do next. Scary things kept happening. Inside the coffin, the sound of smashing continued to be deafening. The noise grew louder in this quiet forest. The noises were getting louder by the moment as the old woman inside was seemingly about to rush out. The onlookers felt extremely frightened. Everyone panicked. It was the first time people had encountered such a situation. Someone was going to take a rope to open the coffin and take a look inside. Just then, an old man approached and said that they had broken some taboos against the dead. Come on, one of you got hurt, right? The old man was an experienced person in this matter because he had seen such a situation in his youth. So he asked. Sure enough, 
Someone was injured during the mining process among the workers carrying the coffin. So the old man quickly lit incense and prayed for the soul of the old woman to forgive their mistakes. The old man said that the wounds on the workers' hands had accidentally caused blood to stick to the coffin walls. This thing was a taboo. Everyone must kneel and ask for forgiveness. The old woman's family and the workers carrying the coffin nervously watched the old man's actions. Incense was lit and the old man also performed the ritual to apologize to the deceased. Just burning paper, the old man prayed for the old woman to pass away peacefully. Everyone knelt around to bow to the coffin. At this point, the wind was strong and the inside of the coffin kept making shrill noises. However, the coffin had not stopped. The old man suspected that there was still guilt on the part of the family. He asked the old woman's relatives to sincerely admit their mistakes. And after a while, the coffin stopped shaking. Everyone gradually returned to its original calm state. Suddenly, the old woman's son explained that it was indeed the fault of him and his wife because last night they slept together. The old man explained that thing was a taboo to do to have sex in the family that night. Luckily the apology was accepted by the dead. People continued to carry the coffin up towards the burial. From that moment on nothing happened. The coffin was taken to the cemetery and properly buried. Later I learned more taboos about coffin carrying. There were scary things that could cost people their lives. Later, when I have a chance, I will tell you all about it.